Yes, of course, come to results. Every creative endeavor needs to come to a result. But uh, in the beginning, there must be experimentation. share ideas with other composers from uh, different places in the world which uh, we're not used to doing uh, in our uh, usual uh, comfort area. I don't have to write a piece for a certain time and it doesn't have to be finished. I can bring something and I can try it uh, together with them. We're nine composers uh, from three different countries. We began as such, and then we found we found some instrumentalists and other kind of artists and such stuff. So we collaborate them now. I'm a composer. Uh, I belong to the Basel group that came here among the other two groups from Tel Aviv and Thessaloniki. I'm Anda and Justin spoiled everything. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to add. I'm Chris Moy. I'm a guitarist. I'm brand new to the team. Hello, I'm Zoe. I play the violin and uh, I'm in many pieces of you here. <laughs> Just looking forward to getting out. My name is Dawn, I'm a saxophone player and I'm playing Thanos' beats for my solo bears and saxophone. Hey, I'm Alice and I'm a half player. I'm Dustin. Uh, as Kirsten said, I'm working at the studio at HFM. Oh, I'm totally excited to hear what you're going to, what we're going to experiment and what you will do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The whole idea is to allow young artists uh, to unleash their creative power, rethink what they're doing, try to revolutionize their art, uh, try to find uh, new ways of uh, music perception, of new music making. In fact, it creates a, a, a way of a crea a creation and a motivation for composition for our students in a long-term process. So it will be interesting to hear perhaps what our students can tell about their personal project.
Shall I send somebody close to you that has these fast problems? It will be etwas aufnehmen Aha. und wir probieren gleich wie es I think it's quite difficult to set up technical situations where you can just experiment it's not like you know you do you have a drum and you experiment with drum rhythms or something because you always do need some tech uh, setup so it's great to have a whole room like upstairs which is full of stuff to try out and then to listen and to experience and also to have the musicians of course because they play and they interact with the um, with the microphones and then with the loudspeakers. The Kappa verbreitet den Schein bei diesen Lautsprechern. Und wenn du deswegen drauf sitzt, dämpfst du den Schein. I can't believe that I'm doing such a thing which is so uh, not only complex but so out of the regular, uh, let's say, uh, uh, conventional uh, idea of a piece. Like, uh, suddenly, a piece doesn't have to be uh, something very defined, like to have a clear start and clear end. And <laughs> And so we really explored a lot uh, Beethoven. We saw that that he is not only in the humanities, in, in like philosophy and uh, uh, colleague of Goethe, and so not only in this sphere, but also he could be put into uh, maybe uh, contact with the acoustics of that time around 1800. That was spectacular, really great. Uh, or even mathematics or so, so which is not, not so used to, to put Beethoven in that connection. But these connections help us to put up a real laboratory. Piece which is written in uh, several years uh, is representing not only one period of my life, it represents some wider range in my life. And in this range, I also change as an artist, as a person. And to have this stamp on the piece, to have this freedom to develop 
together with my piece. I think it's really great. <laughs> I guess I'm very affected just by what we have been doing today, like listening to different sounds, walking around the room a lot, trying to sort of put ourselves into relation with, with these sounds. And if you press it too much so it hurts, mm -hmm. and uh, if not so it falls down. So we, we will do something similar to what we did uh, last year, so we put it here. And the best... Uh, the best place to put the transducers is here in this spot. <laughs> it's a different way to think about space connected to speakers. We actually really waited for finding out how it's exactly like that bass shaker. So um, sometimes it's very hard to just imagine the stuff. Thanks very much. Yeah. Okay. Good. What we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to do some kind of, I'd say, interactive artistic work, which uh, participant from outside comes, and we put uh, transducers on his head. Uh, through sound and music, we managed to guide him in certain ways and to create some uh, different uh, manipulations. Uh, on the way he percepts sounds and uh, uh, reacting to sound. Mm -hmm. Bei dieser Arbeit so mit Andrea, uh, das, das Ganze ist am Endeffekt entstanden aus einer wirklich lange Arbeit, das sehr, sehr experimentell war, im Sinne, dass wir müssten für eine lange Zeit messen, Messungen machen, also wirklich wissenschaftlich arbeiten und das war ganz neu für mich. Ich musste zuerst mit Andrea zusammen einen Katalog äh, entstehen lassen, wie jede Frequenz aussieht. Und dann kam das zweite Schicht, das, das Licht, Stroboskop, wie das mit, mit der Bewegung von Lautsprecher interagiert. Ja, das war ein, ein langes Experiment, aber schlussendlich muss ich sagen, kommt eine gewisse Strenge von mir als Komponistin, weil ich äh, als Komponistin Musikerin, ich bin eine Expertin für Zeit, Rhythmus und Klang, äh, erstmal so sagen, und da bestimme ich die Zeit. Das Zeitgefühl ist mein Zeitgefühl und ich kontrolliere ganz fest, was diese Komponenten dann machen sollen. Und sozusagen von dieser futuristischen äh, Arbeit mit einer Physikerin komme ich wieder zurück in der Tradition, vielleicht fast wie Beethoven und ich kontrolliere die Zeit ganz fest äh, und ich bestimme, wie das Form eigentlich entwickelt.
I think it's totally a processual idea. So um, from the first idea to now, um, we are on ways and we try to open the way. So the final result is not the key thing uh, in the main idea of the project. Just now, or we do switch to, um, to consider the outcome as very important. But only now, after two years. Um 18 Uhr geht es dann weiter mit dem, mit dem Konzert, äh, wo noch mal sehr viele Resultate des Experimentierens zu hören sein werden. Vielen Dank. Ja.